Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. It's Pathfinder Rider. Oh, hello. Hail the man of the hour. What did I do? Word is you killed that traitor, Sloane Kelly. Just wanted to say thanks. I'm not the one who killed her. Not how I heard it. Just accept the pat on the back, all right? She got what she deserved. Fair enough. Alrighty. Why are they still question marks? I heard Camden might try for something. That this is bugging me. Why? Why? There's something around here that... No? Oh well, never mind. Alright, well... Now we found the Asari Ark. Guy at the door. Now we can move on to finding other arcs. We've got the Salarian and the Turian arc still to find. Right, let's go. Shift. Welcome back. Thank you, Suvi. Jory from Cora, I mean it, thank you. Still sorting through everything, but it's easier since we talked. Uh, Vadera's going to need support, Sarissa casts a long shadow, and Vadera's training isn't complete. I'll see what I can do for her. I'm sure she'd like to chat with you if you haven't already. Meantime, I'll uh, let's hit some bad guys, shall we? Agreed. Hi Ryder, remember me, Hadaria? We talked uh, at that nice outpost of yours while I was taking care of evacuees from our ark. Not anymore, though. We're heading home with the uh, Lucy Lucinia back at the Nexus. They've got the people and shuttles to get us back there. They're saying none of it would have happened without you. I believe them. Thank you for everything. Oh, yeah, I'm, I do remember you. You are welcome. Right, nothing more to do on the on the Nexus for now. You're all a hundred percent. Let's go back to Aya. Because I know there's things to there we need to do. I need to talk to PB there. I probably need to talk to the mayor as well. Oh yeah, we need to talk to the Moshai as well. And meet Axel. Hello again. Someone up here. Oh, hello. Honor to meet you, Pathfinder. Initiative pilot Marixis. 
I run supplies to your outposts. What brings you to Aya? Your survival supplies only Aya has. I'm waiting on clearance to enter the city, but it's taking too long. I understand their caution, but the outposts need these supplies. I have to get them, now. They let me into the city? I can help. I appreciate that. To start, Eos needs a way to produce food to support population growth. They've requested Kiloa seeds to begin their own crops. There's an agricultural scientist who might sell some. I'll make sure to get those seeds. Settlers on Kadara are suffering from a bacterial infection. They need Angaran antibiotics to fight it. A medic in the city should be able to help. Got it. They'll have that medicine in no time. All right, excellent. All right, so we've spoken to you. Great to send reports. Angara and Bess. All right. Well, that's not a fast travel point. But that is. Let's travel here then. I don't sell it. You don't need it. No trouble, I see. Good. Uh, do you, do you have the thing like uh, consumables? Do you have platinum? You have copper that I also need, actually, don't I? So, where was it? There we go. I'll take all your copper. No platinum, though. Shame. Something I can do for you? Uh, no. I'll get moving. I'm a merchant. I'm not selling to aliens. Fair enough. Hey, Lexi, I tracked down some samples of the Angaran antiseptic you were talking about. All right, what do you have? Tation. The Angaran antiseptic. Oh, maybe they're all the wrong ones. Oh, yeah. Weird question. You don't have any Kiloa seeds, do you? I. Yes, I do. Need some? Yay! Thank you. I've right, got the canola seeds. Then, thought you'd be in a resistance holding cell. That was Ephra's plan. He wanted to throw me down a hole once he got his precious answers. The most shy convinced him to release me here. I volunteer and they let me see sunlight. You didn't trade one cell for another after all. And you get fresh air. And servitude, dressed up like forgiveness. The most shy keeps her high ground, and I'm the traitor who gets a second chance. It's better than what Sloan would have done to you. Lucky me. I should get back to work. They're not paying me to stand around. Oh, that's right. They're not paying me at all. You dick. Wait, did I actually buy all that copper off you? We're still good. There we go. Now I've bought the copper. Right, we've got the seeds.
Uh, up in here, okay. Oh, we need to... Who is that? Oh, we'll get you on the way back. That's you. I think I'm going the right way. Oh, here we go. Not now. I'm calculating the antioxidant content of this irrigation system. All right, fair enough. When I signed on to the initiative, I thought I'd be building it, not enjoying an alien culture. I came to establish. Hey, PB. Getting acquainted with our new neighbors? Sort of. All this stuff. The Angara sure do have a rich culture and blah, blah, blah. You're sauced, aren't you? What's your poison? Apsha. I visited that cafe the Angara consider a bar. Asked for their hardest stuff. It was weird, which I like, but had almost no punch. Lightweight. Whoa. Steady now. That stuff must have a slow absorption rate. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, writer. It's just... This museum reminds me of being on Haitiana during my indentured service as a student. They even have a whole section on the remnant. I didn't come to Andromeda to follow in someone else's footsteps. Don't worry, PB. The Angara barely have a foothold. Sure, they live among the ruins, but they haven't seen what we've already seen. Hmm. You might have a point there. Bet nobody here has ever outrun an ancient vault purification field, huh? Nope. Or spat in that Archon's ugly mug and lived to talk about it? That was nice work, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> right. Not sure why, but ever since I packed up my apartment on the Nexus, something's crawled under my skin. But whatever it is, I promise, I'll get over it lickety-split. Be sure you do. You're a handful. Even sober. You can handle me, Ryder. Whenever you want. <gasps> Think I'll stay in your operation a little while longer. Nice. All right, who's next? Somebody over there. Oh yeah, the Moshai. Return the relic. Oh yes, I do. You in here? Here we go. I have something for you. Pathfinder, did you make it to Havara? I found this Ingaran helmet. Does it mean anything to you? This is a pre-Dark Age design. Do you see the black marks? The Scourge targeted this pilot ship. Stars, it's perfectly preserved. I can almost imagine the pilot. He must have been so afraid. I've never seen one of these intact. Do you know how rare this is? I can't even begin to repay you. If it helps you piece your history together, that's all I need. It does help. You have no idea how much. You know, Pathfinder, this gets me thinking. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't even know that helmet existed. What if that's not all we're missing? There could be a wealth of history just out of our reach. So, I'm requesting your help again. Just tell me what I need to do. I've laid digs on every Angar and homeworld, but there are places I've missed, areas only a Pathfinder could go. There could be relics sitting untouched for centuries because no one could reach them. What I ask is this. If you ever find yourself in an area like that, you keep an eye out for artifacts. That's it? That's it. Keep me in mind as you explore and bring me anything of interest. It'd help if I knew where to look. The worlds we've inhabited are Vol, Kadara, and Elodin. I've searched them all, but each had obstacles preventing me from looking everywhere. You're the expert. Can't you just come with me? I'd like to, more than anything. But I'm needed here. My predecessor trusted me to stay and carry on his work, to find answers. No matter how much I miss the adventure, I have a responsibility here. A few hidden relics coming up. I don't know what I'd do without you. I'll be here if you find anything. Good luck. You said the helmet was touched by the Scourge. What does that mean? I forget your people weren't around for... that. When the Scourge appeared, it targeted Remnant ships broke down their technology. With the drive cores disabled, 
The ship's crashed. But that may not be all. The Scourge leaves a mark on whatever it touches. If it touched this helmet, perhaps the pilot was the target. There may be remnant tech inside the helmet. Or in the pilot. Storms. I hadn't even thought of that. I'll come back when I have something. Stars guide your travels. What was that? Okay. Down here, I think. If yep. they should have come to me. Axel, I'm all right. You almost died. What's he doing here? Relax. I was invited. So it's true. Aya has opened its doors to outsiders. Axel, Ryder rescued me from the Ket. He risked his life to... Sloan Kelly saved Kadara. Look how that went. I want to be allies. Equal allies. <laughs> you don't even treat your own equally. Isn't that why the Krogan left? How did you... I've been watching you. You're invaders just like the Ket, except less cautious. What does that mean? You'll know soon enough. Do not trust them, Chauvin. Axel... He didn't used to be like this. He was curious. Brilliant. But the Ket... Even without exaltation, they change us. There's still time to bring him around. I want to believe that, but... His hatred towards aliens. I'll prove we can be trusted. I hope so. Ryder, we just received an emergency recording from EOS. Come to the meeting room when you get back to the Tempest. Oh dear. After years of sharing these vaults plans, so much of it still remains a mystery. Not that we haven't tried. Still, after what happened, maybe it's best to leave the vault alone for now. We've spent so long on Aya striving to learn whatever we can about the Remnant and their amazing constructs. I see our future in these Remnant plans. Call it intuition, scientific intuition, if you will. But I've marked it down here for prosperity. We'll see what unfolds. We'll see indeed. Right. We'll head back to the Tempest shortly, but I've got a couple more places to go. Why antibiotics? Oh, I could just select them. Of course I can. Wow, I'm dumb. Right. Oh, it's this this dude. I remember now. Uh, not in here. Back this way. No entering the med center until you're clean. Oh, oh yeah. Decontaminate. Ion console. Touch the start pad. It does the rest. Makes sense. I'll get moving. All right. Okay. So it's not him then. Oh, it's you. My people on Kadara are fighting a bacterial infection. Do you have antibiotics? Of course. Will this do? It will, thank you. Cheers! Alright. That's that collected. i talk to you.
Commander. I trust our people had a smooth transition to Aya. The Angara have been gracious. Everything's going well. Good. Keep me updated. Tan out. I've never lied to a director before. Uh-oh. Pathfinder, it's a pleasure. I'm Ambassador Riala, Chief Diplomat for the Initiative on Aya. I was removed from Cryo specifically for this. Quite the wake-up call. I know what it's like, jumping out of the cryopod and into the fire. You've had it far worse. My condolences on your loss. I hear you're to thank for our new ties with Aya. This is our best shot at an alliance. Now we just need to keep our people from wrecking it, no matter how hard they try. I'm not gonna like this, am I? No more than I do. A Salarian botanist named Sorvis Len is here, learning how to improve our crops. He sent an urgent comm, saying a member of the Angaran resistance had threatened him. What happened? I'm not sure. Sorvis is an excellent scientist, but not the best communicator. I'm concerned this could escalate if someone doesn't look into it, but I don't have the staff to spare. I can go settle things. I'm a friendly face for both sides. That would be helpful. With any luck, we can prevent this from getting worse. What's our end goal for Aya? A strong alliance is all we can ask for. It's what we're working toward. Helios is the Angara's home. They dictate the terms of this partnership, not us. We need them as allies, and they could benefit from us. But we have to tread lightly. Show them we're not invaders. Historically, when two civilizations meet, one consumes or destroys the other. We need to break that cycle. How many of our people have they led into the city? A strictly limited number, and only certain professions. Scientists, engineers, and scholars. The Angara have agreed to allow some of our people to work in Aya's research facilities. That's huge. It's more than I expected. Tan wants me to push for social visits, but I'm holding my ground. We need to move at their pace. They've been extraordinarily gracious, all things considered. I'll take whatever they're willing to give. Aside from Sorvis Len, is everything okay? Need anything else? Actually, yes. Director Tan gave me a project. He wants more Aya natives to live on the Nexus. He thinks it will deepen our partnership. A few Angara expressed interest, but... None of them will agree to live on the Nexus without speaking to you first. Why me? After what you've accomplished? I didn't want to bother you, but... You asked. I'll point you towards the candidates. If you could convince them to transfer, I'd be grateful. That's all for now. I'm here if you need anything. Excellent. Right. Oh, I've just come from there. And... Okay, that's fine. Tackle this lot here as they're closest. Uh, hello. You're one of Ambassador Riala's candidates to live on the Nexus. I am. Glad you finally showed up. Let's get down to it. I've lived my whole life wanting to meet aliens who didn't want me dead. But my family's here. How can I stay in touch with them from the Nexus? You can send messages, talk to them on the comm. We'll even arrange a visit. You get it. All right. I'm in. Cool. That's one down. Uh, right. Exultation is just another word for how to kick kill us. And if you're wrong, 
If we've been killing for them without realizing it? I saw a cat up close when they attacked. It was nothing like our people. The cat weaponized their victims to make you hesitate. And when the cat begin to exalt your people? What will you do then? Thank you for that. Insight, Pathfinder. The issue facing us is complex. Come, my friends. Deliberate with me. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, no. Ah, screw it. Go the long way around. I can't work under these conditions. What does it take to be left alone? Ease off. I'm here to help. You reported that someone in the resistance threatened you. Tell me exactly what happened. I didn't know Riala was sending the Pathfinder. I deserve no less, of course. I was measuring the photonic dispersal from the canopies when some random brute interrupted me. I asked him to move, and he got nasty. Said it was my fault his friend was dead. <laughs> Ridiculous. Do you know what he meant by that? He ranted nonsense about a vessel and selling slots to outsiders. He got right up in my face and compared me to a cat. He wanted to kill me. I could see it in his eyes. The whole conversation made no sense. I think he was inebriated. Sounds like there's more to this. Don't suppose you caught his name? Didn't ask, didn't want it, didn't need it. When he left, I tagged him with infrared dye from my sample kit. Invisible to the naked eye, but not to a scanner. I'll scan people around the Resistance headquarters. See if I find him. You're supposed to represent our interests, Anaya. Go, represent. I have work to do. God, you're such a dick. All right. Hello. Pathfinder, Ambassador Riala didn't think you'd have time for me. She said you needed to talk before agreeing to live on the Nexus. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm an anthropologist, but I've only ever studied my own people. I've heard the Nexus is home to multiple species and cultures. It would be fascinating and possibly dangerous. Bacteria, viruses, other contaminants. My family worries about me. Are you sure I'd be safe? They wouldn't let me on I if I was a walking petri dish, would they? You aren't taking this seriously enough to satisfy my family. I can't go without their blessing. I'm sorry. Damn it. Uh Hmm. I know this is technically cheating. Right, have I already spoken to... Yeah, okay. I've already spoken to him, that's fine. Hello. Me again. Pathfinder. She said... This is... I... Bacteria, viruses... Other contaminants? My family worries about me. Are you sure I'll be safe? We'll take every precaution, but entering an alien environment is always a risk. I appreciate your honesty, and so will my family. I'll convince them to let me go. Thank you. There we go. Right. The last 
student is over there, you're over there, and you're over here somewhere. Distance headquarters. No, oh, you downstairs. I detect the infrared dye Sorvis Len used to mock the person who threatened him. All right, let's get this sorted. I know why you're here. The botanist. You want an apology for what I said to him. I only have one side of the story. Tell me yours. It's hard to explain. Try me. Aya isn't big enough to give everyone a home. We each live here a short time and then move on. For someone to come, another must go. The exchanges are chosen at random. We call this arrangement the Vassal. Time of change. It worked well. Until now. The Vassal never accounted for outsiders living on Aya. There's only so much room. When our leaders agreed to make a place for your people here, it came with a cost. My friend won a place on Aya, but he sold that slot so one of you could stay here instead. Sold it how? What did he get? Comforts for his family, resources to improve their home on Haval. He always put others before himself. That's how he died, fighting Ket on Vold. When I found out, I was angry. Said things to your botanist I shouldn't have, but I'd never hurt your people. I believe you, and I'm sorry for your loss. Between us, that botanist is kind of a jerk. He didn't fear my anger. I respect that. I'll talk to our ambassador. See if we can minimize our impact on your Vassal. We don't expect things to be easy. Only that you understand. Nothing is free for us. There we go. That's that sorted. <sighs> right. Now to go back to the Ambassador. Um, ambassador, yeah, you're up here. Good to see you. Any news on what happened to Sorvis Len? Do you know about the Vassal, the Angaran lottery that decides who gets to live on Aya? I've heard of it. Why? Angar are selling their slots to come here, so our people can stay in their place. Including a member of the Angar in resistance. He was killed on Vold. Wouldn't have happened if he'd been here. No one told me of this arrangement. Well, we have to do something. We could let Angar who give up their slots live on the Nexus. It's safer than Vold. Exactly what I was thinking. No one should suffer on our behalf. Thank you, Pathfinder. I'll forward your proposal to Director Ten immediately. That's all for now. I'm here if you need anything. Right, good. Uh... Right, let's give this uh, these items to this guy up here. I found Kiloa seeds for Eos. Is this enough? It's perfect. I'll make sure Eos gets them. More of your outposts need help if you have time. Vol's power grid is lagging without proper solar input. A solar amplifier would give them a boost. The solar technicians here may have the required parts. I'll see what I can find. Here, I have the antibiotics for Kadara. Will the settlers be okay? Once they have these, they'll be fine. 
I'll make sure they know who to thank. All right, I've got more parts to find. The other one is over here somewhere. Not you. Ambassador Riala said you're thinking of moving to the Nexus. A finder. I'm honored even to be considered for the transfer. But I won't be happy as just an observer. I want need to work. I engineer power systems. Will I be allowed employment alongside your people? That's the whole point of this exchange. The Nexus needs people like you. That's all I needed to hear. I'll have your ambassador start the transfer. Thank you. There we go. Alright. Going to go and talk to these people. God, Arya is keeping me busy today. Still, at least it's not Kadara. Oops. You work on the solar panels? Do you have an amplifier for solar energy? Nothing as big as these, but I have a smaller one on hand. Do you need it? Yeah. Cheers. Don't know why I just ran back there, but oh well. Guess the job done, doesn't it? <laughs> Uh, hey, got the solar panel thingy. Here, I found the solar amplifier for Vold. They'll be happy to see this. No more power outages. Thank you, Pathfinder. Right, is that it? Well, it doesn't look like I can talk to you anymore, so I'm guessing we're done. All right, hold on. I nearly missed that because it was being blocked by the uh, thing. If I don't. Right. Biomaterials. Ah, oh, must be that. Excellent. Okay. Now we can head back to the Tempest. Hey, CV. PB said she wants to talk to you. Oh, does she now? I found that plant you wanted. Great. I'll give the recipe a try when I'm off duty. I've already got ideas for how to jazz it up. And I'll keep working on Mr. I don't like movie nights here to come along. I like them. Just not when Gil is glowering at me. Uh, new project. Hey, uh, I've got a new remnant project in the works. It's going to be big. Come say hi in my room on the Tempest, will you? Sure. Ryder, uh, whatever series cooking up in the in the galley smells terrible. She says it's for a movie night. Good cause, bad choice of, of snacks. I could do better. Come see me and I'll show you. Oh yeah, different diet dietary requ requirements. Pop 
Puck, Puck, Puck. You're gonna be the gateway to so many great things, my friend. Hey there. You named her Puck? Yep. Proof of concept. To distinguish her from Zap, your souped up, nasty combat version. <laughs> Zap. I like it. Yeah, it's edgy. The storage box from the vault on Eos was the key to everything, including integrating that piece of rent tech you got me. But our new observer friends are just the beginning. I'm working on something even bigger. Sure, why stop and smell the roses? Getting remnant technology to work is so passe. I'm not one to rest on my laurels. So get this. We can only scan for remnant signatures we've already encountered. My scanner's doing that around the clock. But if I integrate the right rem tech, we could scour the cluster for any remnant signature, even ones we don't have. My scanner would literally become a remnant mystery detector. Nice. Your enthusiasm is infectious. Well, don't tell Lexi. She'll look for a cure. I came to Andromeda to touch the unknown, to find the never before found. Once I perfect this scanner, it'll do exactly that. All I need is three specific pieces of Remtech. We can do that. You rock. Pock and Zap think so too. So far, I've located the first piece. It's back on EOS. I'll upload the coordinates. I take it you moved your stuff over from the Nexus? Yeah, my squatter's paradise is all the more cluttered. <laughs> What's up? You're cute when you're tipsy, you know. Back on Aya? Some of that was embellished, so I could hit on you with impunity. You have carte blanche to hit on me whenever you like. Well, there are times when I wouldn't want to distract you. Like when you're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a bad guy. At those moments, you have carte blanche to hit on the bad guy. <laughs> Will do. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Cute. Very cute. Uh, right, let's go talk to Vetra. Ah, there she is. Hey, Vetra. Suvi. Gotta love her, but those green snack things she's making for Liam's movie night? Let's just say they're probably better suited to throwing at the screen. You've got a better idea? Yeah, actually. Cora lent me an initiative access code so I could track down some contraband. Long story short, someone on Kadara Port has popcorn. And Grexen, which is like your popcorn, only better because I can eat it. <laughs> someone smuggled popcorn across galaxies? It's light and people would pay big credits for it. Why not? Fair enough. I could track some down the next time we're there. Thanks. It would be nice to have a treat out here, you know? Can't disagree with you there. All right. Oh, I've got two cryopod points to spend. All right. So you've got four of you. Go. Perfect. Minerals. Damn it. I don't, uh, it was the chest I needed, wasn't it? Damn, I only have two platinum? Boo. Uh. Alright, how are we doing? We're doing alright so far. Alright, that's Aya sorted for the time being at least. Alright. Let's head to Elodin. Hmm. 
Well, it should just be this one. We're on course. This will probably help us get to the bottom of the Spencer situation. Forgotten history. An, ex an exile raid. Turian Ark and Elden, a new world. Oh, yeah. Damn it, I just forgot. Sam I need to upgrade, mo upgrade my weapons. Drac, we're landing on Elodin to rendezvous with Jorgal Strux. On my way. Where is this meeting place exactly? Called the Paradise. Middle of nowhere, as far as I can tell. Paradise is different for a Krogan. Hmm, interesting. If I remember rightly, Elodin is a, a hot planet. So we need to keep into the shade. here besides the Krogan scavengers with nothing to lose criminals chucked out of Kadara gonna be interesting I'm oh. gonna head to the colony smooth the waters I'm already dusty yeah Look at this place. The colors are stunning. Mm, bit garish for my taste. Breaking it down to sell. Could make a killing from the pieces. That's probably bad news. We should check it out later. Yeah. That is definitely worthy of our attention. Hello. If it isn't the path Pathfinder, so happy our paths crossed. Your job is to search and study, right? You could say that? We've only just begun to discover Andromeda. There's so much here to figure out. The tech, how ours intersects. There are amazing things to be built, and you're the one to do it. Don't sell yourself short. We can all do that. Oh, I'm not long for this life. I came to this galaxy to die on a new frontier. I'm happy to impart my last bit of wisdom. I would be honored. Knowledge is power, Pathfinder. We brought the best of what the Milky Way could offer. You have the means to make all this better. So use your resources to study and decipher what's here. Grow from it. Build more efficient, powerful tools. 
build the future. That is all. Well, thank you. I shall endeavour to make it so. Hey, hey. Welcome, welcome. Come this way. Follow me. That's a fancy ship, all right. You can find lots of deals inside. Just talk to my boss. Come on, this way. Hmm. This is a special place. A paradise. No guns here. Keep those holstered. This way. Come inside. There's a bunch of low-life scavengers inside. But don't worry. Sure, beyond these walls they'll shoot you on sight, but you're safe here. Hmm, not sure how much I trust that. It's the fair exchange. Why? Because you say it is. Partly. I wouldn't be in business if I wasn't fair. If you don't think so, then nice duds. somewhere else. Better watch your back. Okay. There's probably oh, already man. a dozen people planning to kill you for them. Good to know. I'll keep that in mind. Just trying to help. So, what else can I do for you? What do you do on this planet? Why are you here? Why? Trying to find out where my claim is? No, relax. I do the same as anyone else here. Try not to get killed. You know a Krogan named Strux? Nope. But Krogan are hard to miss. Look around. Where do you live? Where do you sleep? There's a flop house not far from here. There's always shelter. Maybe even a bed, if someone died that day. We're done. Suit yourself. Hmm. Step off. Not allowed back here. Welcome to the paradise. Hello. Uh, thanks. So, what do you think? What do you mean, what do I think? I mean, look around. No guns, no blood, no violence. Outside the gates, you're on your own, but in here, you're safe. Anyone violates the peace, they have to answer to me. Being able to maintain control here must be difficult. These people need me. They need what I sell, so they behave, or they're out. Now what can I get you? How can I help? Just let me know. I'm supposed to meet a Krogan here named Strux. Look around. If my customers have names, I don't know them. It's better that way. <laughs> You have a pretty good attitude for a place like this. I've got nothing to complain about. I'm rich and no one messes with me. Most powerful woman on Elodin. Yeah? I don't mean to brag, but absolutely. What else is here? I'm a businesswoman, not a tour guide, but I'll tell you what I know if it suits me. <laughs> you get along with the Krogan? Everyone comes to Elodin with the dream of leaving, except me and the Krogan. They built their colony into a sinkhole. Smart. Keeps it cool enough for them, I guess. They have their own water? Unfortunately for them, no. But Mordor and I get along well, so far. Who lives on this planet? Desperate folks, mostly. Misfits, some. Those that can't get along in the regular world. Or people willing to make a profit off that desperation. Like you? Careful, sweetheart. You want to keep me on your good side. There's a place they call the Flop House, Eastish of here. Den of murder and misery. You should pay it a call. What can you tell me about that derelict ship? Ah, oh, you came here to get killed, did you? Scavengers are trying to pull it apart, is all I know. I don't go near their claims. They shoot on sight. What can I buy? I don't know. What do you have to trade? Mostly I sell water, but you should go out to the tanks if you want that. Is there anywhere else on the planet to, I don't know, find water? Not really. And if I don't like the look of you or you get on my bad side, then no water for you. Fair enough. Advanced life support. Yeah, I'll have one of those. Yeah. Hmm. Right, I'll have those.
All right, that'll do, thanks. Okay, with that in mind, I'm going to have to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma later. This has been Mass Effect Andromeda, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.